guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel also click on the bell notification button to get notified each time I post I'm sorry if I sound a little nasal I have a cold and a sore throat I've just been going through it but alhamdulillah I'm feeling so much better today I'm going to take you guys through a very simple everyday makeup routine for beginners specifically I'm gonna be using all affordable products this is going to be like a full routine for like a typical everyday makeup look so I have all the products lined up in front of me I'm going to show you guys what to apply and how to apply it so like I said you pick and choose whatever works for you whatever floats your boat it is typically what suits you so yeah I'm just going to give you guys the basics if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's just get right into it so what you want to start off with is priming your skin I'm going to prime my skin with my baby skin instant pore eraser from Maybelline this is not my typical primer that I would use because I generally do not like the feel of this primer but it's affordable and it makes my skin look really really smooth but if you have oily skin I would suggest that you look for a primer that's going to work with your skin type um, I also use the Remel stay matte primer which is really 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 amazing for oily skin so you can go ahead and get that instead of this one this one feels borderline oily but it just really smoothens my pores out so I'm going to start off with my brows so a tip that I like to share with you guys is to put some setting powder around your eyebrows and through your eyebrow hairs this would help the brow products to grip onto your brows very very well my brows are kind of slippery and I have oily skin around my brows so I typically like to do this step now for my eyebrows I'm going to use my beauty line by Didi Browgasm eyebrow pencil So I typically just go at the bottom of my brows, like just following the shape. And then I go over the top of my brows. Now I'm gonna start filling in from the very end of the brow, like the tail. And I'm gonna be very light-handed as I come to the front of the brow. Now I'm gonna go in with a spoolie and just blend out the product. So I'm gonna do same to this brow. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal my brows. I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. Um, this is about two to three shades lighter than my actual skin tone. I definitely suggest that you use a concealer that is two to three shades um, lighter than you. Do not go any further than that, especially if it's for an everyday makeup look. You don't want to look way too highlighted. <laughs> In my opinion so I'm going to go ahead and conceal the bottom part of my brows So I'm going to go ahead and buff out the concealer under my brows. For the next step, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to use the Maybelline Matte Poreless in the shade 340 Cappuccino and I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Now each of these foundations are affordable and they are really really great especially if you have oily skin but um, the shades are a little off for me so I like to mix them up. So you do not have to use two foundations guys you just need one foundation that matches your skin tone 
so i did a video on how to find your foundation shade i would link it above in the cards and below in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and dot the foundation all over my face To blend out my foundation, I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, 200 brush. This is the Face Esped brush. I'm going to go ahead and sculpt the top part of my brows with the same brush and my foundation. I prefer to do this because do you see the line below my brows? I'll blend it out but if you use a concealer that is like lighter than your actual skin tone and you put it on top of your brow this is how your the top of your brow is going to look like and it's not really the easiest thing to blend out especially if you're a beginner so I always suggest that you use a foundation to um, blend it out. I'm gonna go in with my buffing brush and I'm gonna blend out the top part of my brows. I'm dipping it into the foundation at the back of my hand and I'm just blending it out. I'm also going in the beginning part of my brows, this side, and I'm just blending that out as well. After blending out your foundation, you can go in with your beauty blender and literally just brush your foundation brush on it so that you can have a little bit of product on it because um, the beauty blender can lift the products off your face. This is a Real Techniques uh, beauty blender by the way. It's also on the affordable side and it's a really amazing beauty blender so I'm using that all over my face to do some extra blending and to take off any extra products on my face the foundations that I use today are not full coverage and I'm completely okay with that if you want a full coverage affordable foundation you can use the NYX can't stop won't stop you can use the Maybelline super stay um, matte foundation those are really really good I think the NYX total drop foundation is also really amazing I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour so you can skip cream contouring on an everyday basis but I mean putting it in this video because some people would like to look double snatched and doing cream contour and doing powder contour is completely fine on top of each other but you can also like just skip this step if you want to so i'm going to go ahead i'm using my black opal stick foundation in the shade suede mocha i'm going to put just a little bit on the point of my face that i usually like to contour which is my jawline my cheekbones and my forehead that's about it for the contour i'm gonna go back in with my real techniques um face expert brush this brush is really amazing because you can use it to blend out your contour and foundation i used to blend out my foundation so i'm gonna use that to blend out my contour as well as you can see it's just blending everything out so seamlessly so i'm gonna go ahead and blend what's on my forehead into my hairline i'm blending what's on my cheekbones upwards so i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and i'm gonna go over my contour just to soften it out take off any excess product and do some extra blending
For highlighting, I'm going back in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. What I use to conceal my brows. I'm going to put that under my eyes. And I'm going to put that right here as well. I'm going to do same to this side. I'm going to go ahead and apply highlighter onto my chin, my mustache area, and I'm going to apply highlighter on my forehead as well, as well as the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my Real Techniques contour brush. You can also use your beauty blender to blend out your concealer. I prefer using a brush to blend out my concealer before going in with a sponge. As you can see, I used a brush to blend out my foundation and contour and I went in with a sponge to do some extra blending. So you can definitely do same. So I'm going to blend everything out. As you can see, I'm literally lightly tapping the product and not swelling or swiping it. So I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender. I'm not using this part, which is the dark contour. I'm using a new part. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Um, I'm just wiping the brush on it so that I have a little bit of product and I'm going to go back in and blend everything out. So everything is nice and blended out. I'm gonna go in and set with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, what I used to set my brows earlier. So I pat the excess of the powder at the back of my hand before pushing it. I'm doing this fast because this concealer dries fast and I definitely don't want to have creases on my face. So I'm likely going to go over my eyelids and my brows as well to lightly set them in place. So everything is nice and set on my face. I'm gonna show you guys like two techniques to set the rest of your face because I think that, especially if you have oily skin, if you do not set the rest of the cream products on your face, it's gonna move around a lot during the day and it's gonna look really some way. And if you go in with a bronzer or a blush, blending it out is going to be really, really difficult because it's going to be patchy because you still have products that are not dried on your face. So I like to go in with a setting powder to set all over my face lightly or I use a pressed powder to set all over my face so I'm gonna do both so I'm just to show you guys how to do it um, I'm gonna use my Sasha buttercup I put my beauty blender in and I'm gonna you know dot it all over my face and I'm just going to push it into my skin like so very very lightly now um my entire face is nice and set so if you don't want to use a setting powder you can just use a pressed powder and then you go in with a big uh brush 
I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. This brush right here is so big. So you just wanna put your brush in your powder like so and you're just going to push it into your skin. Like so. You wanna avoid the under eye area cause you know, you already set it and if you're going to bake as well, it's probably going to be too much. So yeah, you can definitely pick and choose um, what, whichever technique you want to use. So I like to bake. So you can skip this step if you do not want to bake because you know, baking is not for everyone. I'm using the same setting powder. You can definitely skip baking every day, especially if you have dry skin or if you don't want your face to look too matte, you can skip uh, baking. So I'm definitely really excited about this product right here. This is the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. This is the medium to dark. This has a uh, contour powder, a sculpt and a highlighter. So because I did my cream contouring, I would have skipped this step but because i'm just going to show you guys like how to do it you need an angled brush this is the sculpting brush from real technique so you can use this one if you're going to do a powder contour to be able to put the powder on a specific place on your face so that it doesn't go all over the place but i have mine from morphe which i really really like this is the morphe e4 brush so i'm going to dip into my contour powder and i'm going to dust of the excess and as you can see I'm just you know patting it on where I typically applied my cream contour which was my forehead my cheekbones and then my chin and jawline you want to be very very light-handed with this product right here because it's very pigmented as you can see so now I'm going to go in and contour my nose I'm gonna use this slanted brush from AOA studio I'm gonna dip it into the contour powder and I'm just going to start off from under my brow as you can see this product is very very pigmented so you want to be very careful with it The product was very pigmented so I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys like a very very simple eye look using the same palette. All you need is just literally one eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to go in this shade right here, the sculpt shade and I'm gonna put that into my crease. As you can see it's very very warm. And then I'm gonna go into the contour shade here, this dark one. I'm gonna put that onto my eyelid. Just going to stamp it all over my eyelid. With the same brush, this brush is from Evita Joseph. It's the Deluxe Crease Brush. So as you can see, I'm making like a very simple brown smoky eye look um, for every day. So yeah, that's about it for the eye look. You can also go into your lower lash line with the same shades, the sculpt shade which I'm putting on my lower lash line. And then I'm going in with a contour shade. So on an everyday basis, you don't want to use like a dark eyeliner. I always prefer using brown. So I'm going to like tight line my eyes with my brown eyeliner. I'm going to use mascara and I'm going to go all up in my lashes.
so typically on an everyday basis what you do is you apply your mascara and you dust off your face put on your lip products set your face and then you're good to go but i know for my extra girls you want to apply falsies i don't have natural looking falsies i have very unnatural looking falsies but i'm still going to apply them the reason why i applied my brown eyeliner over the top part of my eyelid is because i wanted to make my eyelashes look thicker than they actually are because i don't have a lot of eyelashes but if you are going to be applying eyelashes you can actually skip it and just put on your eyelashes and then you're good to go so i'm going to go and apply my eyelashes so while my eyelashes are drying what you want to do if you are doing your everyday makeup is multitask so i'm going to dust and blend in my setting powder into my skin i'm using my real techniques um setting brush this brush is amazing it's small and it gets into all the corners you don't want to press too hard when you're using Using this brush just do it lightly make sure you're blending in all the corners so this is another skippable step if you don't want to do it it's not like a big deal this is blush i love blush i feel like blush is really really pretty so i'm using my uh bella blush from jovia space it's like this peachy uh color i really really like it i'm gonna put it on my cheekbones like so I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush. As you can see, I apply it on the apples of my cheeks upwards, like so. So the next step is to set your face with a setting spray. This is one from Morphe. There are a lot of setting sprays on the market. So you can go ahead and look for whichever floats your boat. I like the Morphe continuous setting one. So I'm going to use that all over my face. So for highlighter, personally I don't like applying highlighter every day but I'm going to include it in the video. I'm going to use this and I'm going to put that into my inner corners. I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well. And the bridge of my nose. And the tip of my nose as well my cupid's bowl i'm also going to apply highlighter onto the high points of my cheeks for my lips i'm gonna use a dark brown lip liner Personally, I like to overline my lips slightly. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. You can do matte or glossy. So for matte, I like using my NYX um, lip cream in the shade London. It's more subtle for an everyday makeup look. Or for glossy, I like using my NYX butter gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So today I'm gonna do like glossy cause that's what I feel like. I'm just gonna put that in the center.
Okay guys, so this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. I would list all the products that I used down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also hit the bell notification button so you get notified each time I post. I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.